Thanks for watching the training video for the Team Holiday Spreadsheet which is available on excel-macros.com I'm just going to very quickly run through the functionality of this spreadsheet. So when you open it uh, up, firstly uh, we need to make sure that we've enabled macros. This is standard Excel functionality. So in whatever way you need to um, ensure macros are enabled, please do so. So for this version we come into Options and then Enable this content and click OK. Once you've enabled macros correctly, then you'll immediately see the spreadsheet come to life with a um, dialog box here called Holiday Type, and this is your main control for the spreadsheet. So the first thing uh, you need to do is to enter the members of your team. So here uh, is where we need to enter this information. So I'm going to create my team now. So uh, I have Ben. And Joe and Lucy and as I add more team members you'll see that new rows get created for each new team member so I have Phil and I have Liz so we have five team members here um, the next thing I need to enter is the amount of holiday that they have for this year so uh, Ben has 18 days Joseph has 20 days, Lucy has been with the company a long time and has 25 days, Phil has 20 days and Lucy has, oh sorry, Liz has 18 days. Okay, so that's all of their names and allocations. What I'm just going to do is control S to save it. Right, now the next thing uh, I will show you is these two columns. These are read-only columns. Uh, giving you information about the number of days that your team have taken and the number of days they have remaining till the end of the year. Okay, so let's go ahead and add some holiday. Um, before we do so, one thing I'll just point out. So the spreadsheet will always default to the current day uh, just to make it easier to use. Um, you have all of the historic information from previously in the year if we scroll to the right. Um, but just for ease of use purposes it will always default to the current day so you're always looking forwards. So let's just say for example Ben has requested a holiday for next Tuesday then what I would do is I would click in the cell for Ben and next Tuesday and I would click this button here within the holiday type dialog for full day and you can see that that cell then highlights in red. If um, he's also requested a half day for the next day then I can use the half day button and that will highlight in orange. What you'll see as I'm uh, adding these days holiday is that then the days taken uh, column is adding some additional days and the days left column is reducing the number of days left in his allocation. So as a result of the day and a half's holiday that he's taken he now has only 16 and a half days left of his 18 day allocation. The dialog box also gives you the ability to add public holidays. So let's say the following Monday is a public holiday. What I can do is I can either click in one cell and add the public holiday or I can drag over all of the team cells and add it all in one go. So that gives you some flexibility to uh, use the spreadsheet slightly faster. What you'll see with the public holiday is because it's a public holiday it's not taking any days off these team members allocations. If I made a mistake and maybe added these public holidays on the wrong day then I can highlight them and click the clear holidays button and that will clear the cells that I've created uh, and maybe then I can re-add them in the following Monday after that. Um, the spreadsheet by default will show you weekends um, because some people do work weekends and need that um, flexibility but if you're um, not worried about recording uh, holidays over weekends then you can use this button which will then hide all of the weekends from view which m condenses the spreadsheet and makes it slightly easier to use. If you lose the dialog box for whatever reason, you've closed it or you've um, used the X in the top corner um, then you can bring it back by using the show options button. That's all there is really to the spreadsheet. Uh, it's fairly simple, fairly easy to use. Hopefully it makes your life slightly easier. 
Um, once you've done all of your changes, you need to um, either use um, Control S like I've just done, or you can go File Save, and then you have all of the changes saved for next time you use it. I hope this um, information uh, and training presentation has been helpful to you. Uh, please go ahead and download uh, a copy of the spreadsheet from excel-macros.com um, and hope you enjoy it. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.